friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. And today I'm coming at you with a video about the books that I wish I read in 2019. Now, I know a lot of us on booktube and in the book community and just at large have TBRs that are never ending. But I have compiled a list of books that I have simultaneously put on my TBR shelf in my room so that I would read this year and never got to. I even have two books on this list that I started and never finished and like never really got into because I was just, there's so many other things that I had to read and I just, oh. So without further ado, these are the books that I wanted to read in 2019 but never got to. Number one on this list, these are not really in any particular order, they're just in a pile on my, next to me. So, the first one is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. This book has been around booktube a lot, and I picked it up um, earlier this year because I did want to get to it, and because I've heard just wonderful things about it, and I know that it is a hard-hitting, war-centered novel, and I was kind of like, well, I'm occasionally in the mood for these kind of books, so I'll pick it up and I will read it sometime this year. And I never got to it. <laughs> I'm so sad about that. But, so I really know nothing about it besides the fact that it is hard-hitting and a war novel. I've also heard that it is a, like, villain origin story. I'm not sure if that's right, but if it is, all the more reason for me to read it. And I will probably get to it early 2020. I'm hoping. That is my plan for all of these books, is just get them done in 2020, early as possible, so that I can move on to my 2020 TBR <laughs> and get away from 2019. But this is number one. The next book is a book that I picked up alongside um, There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole when I went to the States with my mom earlier this year and at Barnes & Noble, because I love Barnes & Noble. We don't have them here in Canada, which is kind of sad, but it's fine. We have Indigo, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, but Barnes & Noble had these two for like 50% off kind of deal because they're like brand new releases. And this one is The Storm Crow by Kaylin jo Josephson. And I had planned to read this like in sequence with There Will Come a Darkness. I just never got to it, which is the theme of this video, obviously. <laughs> but this book intrigues me because from the synopsis, I know very little about this book. Um, except for the fact that something happened a few years prior to this book starting, like a war or something, and they eradicated all sorts of crows, I do believe, and the main character's mom passed away. And so, like, the mom, or not the mom, the main character and her sister are, like, running the kingdom, because they're princesses, and her sister is the one who runs the kingdom because our main character can't get out of bed, because she is just so depressed. And I have yet to come across a fantasy book that has mental health rep like this. And I am so excited about this. And I might be talking myself into picking this up in December, but knowing me, because my December TBR is so long, this will be January. Uh, but yes, so this book, also this cover, is just stunning. Focus on it, not me. Just so beautiful. Anyways. Anyways, I really don't know much about it. Um, so there are elemental crows, apparently, which sounds so cool. And I believe there's like crow riders, which are these just massive crows because that'd be kind of cool, but also terrifying because I'm not a big fan of birds. But anyways, anything with crow in the title, people also really like because, you know, six of crows was huge, and I still have yet to read that one, but that's another video for another day. The next book on this list is so sad because it is on my November TBR, and it is currently November when I'm filming this, and uh, I know I'm not going to get to this before the end of the year, so it is going to go into this video with a very heavy heart because uh, I just know that with all the festive books that I'm going to be reading and like... I have a few other books planned to read this December. I just know that this is going to have to be pushed to January, and I'm so sad about it. But it is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. 
I am so excited about this book because it's Dark Academia. It is about our girl named Alex Stern and she gets into Yale basically to become a, a I don't know, helper of the Yale secret societies and um, there's ghosts and death and it's very dark and it is an adult novel and uh, I am so excited about this because <laughs> I really like Lee Bardo who's writing. I'm not, I've read her Shadow and Bone trilogy and when I was reading it I was so entranced in the story, like in the world and the story that I just gave them all five stars and then afterwards I thought about it and I was like no they're more about three stars which is such a, just a, and I also need to not rate books as soon as I'm done reading them because I come off of a high and rate them all really really high and then like later I think about it and I go maybe not but I know that Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom are amazing and those are on my TBR for 2020 for sure but I just I really like Lee Bardugo's writing and I am very 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 excited to get to this and I'm so sad that I'm not gonna get to it in November but alas it shall remain for 2020. The next book is continuing on the crow train and it is The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. This book has been on my radar since I heard about it when everyone was going to like that book con and all those kind of things because they were getting arcs for this and again I do believe it is like a cast of characters not a heist novel but it has that flavor you know. Yeah I don't know there's something like that. I, I might be completely wrong. I know nothing about this book. I try not to know a lot about fantasy books when I go in because I know that a lot of the times I will be spoilt about something kind of big and I don't really want to know a whole lot going in. But this one has just intrigued me because I know... I don't know. A future chieftain, a fugitive prince, a two cunning bodyguard and one grumpy grey tabby. Like, I am so ready for this book. And I'm so sad that I didn't get to it in 2019 because it what it has been on my TBR shelf for months since I picked it up. And oh, oh, oh. And it says on the back of the praise, it's got Claire Legrand, who is one of my favorite authors. Um, it has also a one that says, rich, harrowing, and unafraid to tackle discrimination. Perfect for fans of Lee Bardugo and Tony, Tomi Adeyemi. And I love Tomi Adeyemi as well. And oh. I might be convincing myself to try read some of these in December, <laughs> but that's, but that's mm, it's fine. Anyways, I really wish I had gotten to this one. Um, also, just like all the taglines that are included on the front of this book and the back of this book, like it has give them fire, give them fear across the top, and this cover is just stunning. And then on the back, it says here, it wasn't that Fi wanted to burn the world down. No, she just wanted the world to know that she could. And I'm just like, this book sounds so good and it looks oh anyways we're gonna move on before I like start hitting things with books because I'm mad at myself for not getting to these this year the next one is also one that I was determined to read in October and actually the next two are ones that I was determined to read in October and never got to I actually tried to read this one and I was just not in the mood and it's The Diviners by Libba Bray and um yeah booktube loves this book and I just was not in the mood for it, I guess, when I tried to pick it up, and I just haven't tried to pick it up since. And I really would like to get to this in 2020, because I know I'm going to love it, because it is set in 1920s New York. It is magical and creepy, and there's a demon running around named Naughty John, and that's all I know about it, and I don't want to know more. Again. <sighs> I'm just getting more and more irritated at myself for not reading these books, but that's fine! Because that's what this video is about. <laughs> and this next book that I wanted to read in October, uh, along with The Diviners, was Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Yes, I have still not read this book. Yes, I have only read three of her books. Uh, the Darker Shade of Magic, and then her two middle grades, The City of Ghosts and Tunnel of Bones. And um, I love her writing. I don't know why I haven't picked this one up yet. I tried. I didn't even try, let's be honest. It was just on my TBR shelf and I never picked it up. I was never in the mood to pick it up. I was never... I don't know. You guys. <laughs> just gonna start hitting things with books and it's just making me irritated. It's fine. I'm gonna pick this one up as soon as possible in 2020. Um, but this is about Victor and Eli who started out as college roommates and uh, are now like villains, I think. 
I don't know much about it, but I know that it's like two villain, like anti-hero stories, basically. And I know that she continues this book in Vengeful, and I believe there's a third one planned. But, yeah. Haven't gotten to this one yet. Ah. <laughs> the next one is more of one that I have just kind of like wanted to read all throughout the fall season, but never really included it on any really solid TBRs or, you know, ever really read it, <laughs> picked it up and read it. Uh, but that is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Trinton. Tur tur Turton? Turton? Stuart Turton. It's fine. Um, this is pitched as a cross between, like, Groundhog Day and Agatha Christie. It says right here, Agatha Christie meets Groundhog Day, quite unlike anything I've ever read. And I know that it's one of those stories that repeats, it like gets looped in a timeline, hence Groundhog Day. Uh, but it's basically this guy wakes up in a new body every time he goes through it and he has to solve a crime, the death of Evelyn Hardcastle before it happens again and if he doesn't he just gets like sent back and he has to re-find out everything and like memories have been erased and stuff like that. So I'm really intrigued by this book and I love Agatha Christie's books even though I've only read one. <laughs> I just love the idea of her crime books and uh, yeah, I just... I wanted to read this one and I never picked it up, as I keep saying. But yes, this one seems just extremely intriguing and it is going, again, very high on my 2020 TBR. Very, very high. <laughs> the next book is an ARC that I got sent by HarperCollins uh, and it, since then the book has come out and I still have not read it and that is The Cryer's War by Nina Varela. Nina Varela. And... <laughs> Uh, again, I'm mad at myself for this one too because I tried to read it, I got a little ways through and then I just put it down and read something else and I'm, uh, I want to read this one because I've heard so many people just raving about how good it is. It's a YA sci-fi female-female book, like female-female romance book and it's about Cryer who is an automate, atom, atom, atome. I keep wanting to say automaton because that's like the actual word for it but Ah, it's Autome. <laughs> and we have, she's like the daughter of the king or whatever in a world where all Autome have taken over from their, um, from humans who used to rule them. Um, and then we have humans and we have Ayla who is a handmaiden and who wants to kill Cryer. And uh, it ends up being their story. And uh, I'm really mad at myself when I get into this sooner. I'm really mad at myself for putting it down. That's the main thing. I should have never put it down. I should have just kept going, but alas, 2020 it goes. And the last two books I'm going to talk about simultaneously because they are by the same person, and that is Brennan Sanderson. I have the Mistborn series and the Stormlight Archive series. I have tried to read the Stormlight Archive series. I am a little the ways through. This, surprisingly, is like more than 100 pages through. 132 pages, to be exact. And uh, I tried to read Mistborn. I believe I got like 30 pages in and I just had to read other things and my, ma my brain was not into the high fantasy at the moment. But I love Brian Sanderson's writing. I have read Skyward by him and I have Starsight, the next one coming very soon. Whenever it's released, it's coming to me because I've pre-ordered it and I'm very, very excited because I love that book so much. I love Skyward with all my heart and it's just fabulous. And I just, I want to get to more of his books. I have been listening to Elantris on audiobook and it's really good as well. And that is his debut novel and it's standalone fantasy. But these two are the ones that people talk about the most of Brandon Sanderson's worlds, and I think it's just the size of The Way of Kings that gets me, and then Mistborn, I don't really know what it is that gets me to not read it, because it's, well, my book is not that big, and I've heard so many good things about it, and apparently the magic system is incredible, which I love a good magic system, but, you know, I'll get through it eventually, I guess? I don't know. Guys, this whole video is just a mess of me not reading the books that I want to read. And it's a whole lot of really bad vibes. It's fine. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh, 
that is it for me for this video. I am sure there are a lot more that I intended to read, but these are just the ones that are fresh in my mind. These are the ones that were on my TBR shelf in my room, and I was just, I, I stare at them every day and get a little bit madder every day because I'm like, I, have, I haven't read any of these. <laughs> I'm so mad about it, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to just continue. And we're going to put them into the uh, 2020 TBR because I do want to read them and I will read them eventually. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video if you did. It really helps me out. And subscribe down below if you have not yet. And if you're really feeling it, hit that little bell icon so you know when I upload. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. Um, every Friday is a main channel link video. And then every Tuesday is a reading vlog or a writing vlog as it is this past month with NaNoWriMo, uh, but yes, I am gonna go read now, I guess, because something from my December TBR, because I'm currently working my way through that and all the Christmassy reads. So, anyways guys, stay kind and keep on reading.